Excellent. Hi, I'm Michael. I co-founded San Vigo in summer 2020, and, uh, and it's a big pleasure to, to be back here. Um, last year was my first uh, Eco Summit, and we kicked off our Series A, a 10 million round back then, that we then successfully closed a few months after. A bit more than 20 years ago, I installed my first solar system. Um, on a rooftop, and back then learned that it's the duty of our generation um, to crack the climate change issue. And I learned, fortunately, we do have the technologies in our hand to do so. And ever since, that's been given me a lot of energy personally to contribute driving the energy transition. And that's exactly what we do with, with San Vigo. Um, we help pushing the energy transition by radically simplifying the access of end consumers to solar power. And we're building a green power community that is based on residential solar consumers and assets in the European Union. What, what triggered San Vigo was really a tremendous impact opportunity. We realized, wow, 15% of our power generation in Europe could come from the rooftops of single-family single homes alone. We also realized it's less than a percent. And we saw there are millions and millions of consumers that want to go solar. But they're not going solar, many of them, because they need to take on the role of a utility company to do so. What most people want is to use solar power, but the way to get there is to buy or rent a piece of hardware to finance it, and then also to take care of the operations. And this utility role comes with an amount of risks and effort that most consumers shy away from. Let me illustrate this with data, and um, I picked the German market as an example here. We know from a recent study, post the Ukraine war beginning, that 3.5 million homeowners in Germany, just in Germany, want to go solar within the next 12 months. It's a very specific customer need. Our expectation is that the market's going to come in at around 250,000 units this year. The complexity of the utility role is the ultimate conversion killer. And that's why we did a simple thing. We said, OK, we as San Vigo, we're taking on the role of the utility company to alleviate the consumers from all the risks and the efforts, and to help them use solar power. And we're using a power contract to do that. Every homeowner knows what a power contract is, and it's a very convenient product. What we do is we install and own and operate solar systems on the rooftops of our consumers, and we then deliver power to them from the rooftop installation and green grid power. What we also do, um, and that's standard, a standard utility obligation, is we take care of marketing the access power and also the crowd flexibility that's attached to our customer portfolio in an optimal fashion in the, in the marketplace. And this comes with three unique benefits. One, our Customers understand they get the best system on the roof. Two, they realize we're taking on all the efforts and the risks associated with the system. Plus, we're creating an upside by marketing solar power 
in the marketplace. And last time I was on the stage, um, wholesale power prices are a lot, were a lot lower. Uh, we just heard that we're talking a factor five versus September last year. So recap, so far we've invented the San Vigo power contract. Um, we also launched our premium product. The key element is a battery that comes with a 20 year solar power price guarantee. And we introduced a wall box as a service um, for our customers to help driving sector coupling and the transition to e-mobility. And so far, this journey obviously only has been possible to, to a great and terrific team. Um, we uh, achieved a, four, a, a four x growth in order to intake uh, year on year. We raised uh, more than 20 million in debt and equity. Um, and we're approaching uh, the only green tech unicorn in the European Union in terms of brand awareness. So briefly looking ahead, um, we're now growing along product, vertical integration, and um, international expansion. Uh, let me highlight one thing, and that's also a tremendous change versus the last year I spoke here. Um, we're pushing very hard on bringing a heat of service product to the market, given that there is a tremendous customer need out there. Consumers are confronted with gas bills that go from 100 to 400 euros a month. Um, and we have more than 1.5 trillion in terms of heat pump investments ahead of us in the European Union. That's about half the GDP of Germany. And that's, a, that's an opportunity that we're, that we're tackling with San Vigo hats on. Thanks a lot for your attention and uh, very much looking forward to uh, connecting off stage. Thank you.